Hello Enid, I am Diana Hernandez, Public Information Officer, and with me is... Hello Enid, John Gray. And you are? I'm the COVID case tracer for, the, um, for our region. Awesome. So we are going to start off talking about babies, but more specifically, I'd like to introduce this little fella here. Now you can't probably see him from this angle, but this is baby Joe, and we are going to start off with talking about babies. So I'll let John take it, and if you want to go ahead and go to full screen, and we'll show a little graphic. March 24th was World Tuberculosis Day. Oh. Hold, on. Hold one second, John. Let me give you this one. Okay, we're going to do that again. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's okay. Let me go ahead and lead us up, John. March 13th, if we can go full screen again, March 13th to 19th, 22 of this year was Sleep Awareness Week. And you can go to National Sleep Foundation at the nsf.org for more information. So on March 24th, that was uh, World Tuberculosis Day, and it marks the day in 1882 when Dr. Robert Koch announced the discovery of the mycobacterium. So let's talk about this graphic real quick, John, before we jump into tuberculosis, and that's really important. But speaking of babies, do you need a car seat for a baby in your family? We are now taking appointments. We have trained specialists that um, help with education and car seat and safety. Now you can call us at 580-233-0650. Now, John, let's talk about <laughs> tuberculosis. <laughs> okay, so in 1882, Dr. Robert Koch announced the discovery of the mycobacterium tuberculosis. That bacteria, excuse me, that bacteria that caused tuberculosis. So. Dr. Koch's discovery was the most important step taken toward the prevention and control of this deadly disease. You can contact the Garfield County Health Department if you need a TB test at 580-233-0650. Awesome. And you can call us at 580-233-0650, just like John said. Now let's talk about Poison Prevention Week, which is this week. And so we have two awesome graphics here, one in English and one in Spanish. So you can screenshot that and share that with people, even in our Hispanic community here in Enid. But bee stings, medication mix up, too much alcohol. Did you know that you can call your poison center about these and so much more? So their slogan is many poisons, one number, 1-800-222-1222. And John, what is this that we're looking at? Well, Oklahoma Women, Infants and Children Program, also known as WIC, shared the Irish potato leek soup on St. Patrick's Day this month. All the ingredients, ingredients follow WIC guidelines and can be purchased with your WIC card. This leads us to the announcement. WIC will begin in-person appointments on April 4th. WIC has phone appointments for two solid years and they are happy to see moms and babies in person. Call to schedule a WIC appointment or for more information about WIC, call 580-233-0650. On February 17th, the Abbott initiata initiated a voluntary call of some Similac at Alimentrum and L Care Powder Formula products after four consumer complaints related to Cornobacter, Suziki, or Salmonella Newport in infants who had consumed powder, infant formula manufactured in Sturgis, Michigan facility. If your product is included in the recall, do not use it and do not throw it away. Go, go to Similac Recall dot com to obtain a refund. You can call Similac customer service at 800-986-8540. That's 800-986-8540. If you have any feeding questions or concerns, talk to your pediatrician or healthcare professional. 
All right, so a big announcement from Oklahoma State Department of Health. OSDH is transitioning from pandemic to endemic throughout the transition. There will be gradual changes on how and when OSDH reports come of its data, come reports come out with some of its data. Sorry about that. Starting earlier this week, OSDH discontinued daily situation updates that monitor the daily case counts. Instead, OSDH will re release data on Thursdays. The weekly report will provide any average based on weekly accumulations. The weekly epidemiology report will continue and will also be released on Thursdays. As we begin transitioning from pandemic to endemic, OSDH stands well equipped to battle future possible surges if seen fit can bring back daily data reports. To view more information, go to oklahoma.gov slash COVID-19 or for specific uh, county information, go to oklahoma.gov COVID-19 community slash data dot html. And now uh, all U.S. households are now eligible to receive a second round of four free at-home COVID-19 test kits via www.covidtest.gov. Orders will typically ship within seven to 12 days. So we are still standing behind um, tools to prevent and mediate um, the spread of COVID-19. So one of our tools is getting vaccinated um, and getting boosted up. So these are the boosters, the COVID-19 vaccines that we have and the boosters. So go ahead and uh, take a screenshot and kind of save it for your records or share if you like. And uh, COVID-19 is on the huge decline, but if you have symptoms and you're not quite sure what they are and you're curious, here are some A symptoms and some B symptoms and when it is recommended for you to get tested. And remember us for your testing um, needs, Garfield County Health Department. We are here, we have rapid tests and PCR tests. And you can call us or go to osdh.emetech.com to schedule your appointment. And to close us out, Superhero Saturday. The Early Childhood Coalition and partners are sponsoring Superhero Day this year. It's going to be April 9th. It's on a Saturday, it's from 9 a.m. to noon. Bring your superhero costumes, bring your kids, of course. Um, if you wanna dress up as a superhero, then dress up as a superhero. But this is a fun day for kids to come together. There will be some superheroes present and uh, health bags distributed at the event. 200 health bags distributed. So we will be there and we hope to see your faces and kids in neat costumes so yay anything else that i'm forgetting that i think you've covered everything okay awesome well thank you so much we are here to serve you we're garfield county health department and we uh, are under the umbrella of oklahoma state department of health and so we we are here to make sure to create a state of health and uh, any way that we do it as things change, circumstances change, we pivot towards that change to meet those needs. So um, call us if you have any questions or concerns at 580-233-0650. And until next time, thanks Enid, bye.